Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about the left outer joint. Outer joints deal with the null values but inner joints do not. So if there is any data matching the query in one or both of the tables, inner join ignores such data. Outer joins, on the other hand, work even if there is no match in the second table. Null columns in the second table will mean that the result is null. A full outer join will return all the rows from both of the tables that match the query. And then null, null for columns in, the, uh, in each of the tables that does not match the data. Now, uh, does not match the query. So... Uh, how this work? How this actually works is I'm just going to go over the theory first. So we have a full outer joint, then we have a left outer joint, and then we have a right outer joint. The reason that uh, this lecture's name is left outer joint is because full outer joint SQL implementation is not actually implemented in my SQL. That's what I meant when in the start I told you that most of the code, most of the SQL commands will be implemented in my SQL. And most of them are um, are used or are executed throughout different SQL implementations or different RDBMSs. But there are some things like there are some commands such as full outer join that MySQL does not support. So you can come up with some way that you can handle let full outer join but again the syntax is not supported so we are just going to talk about the left outer join and the right outer join first we need to understand what the full outer join is now imagine you have a left table and a right table in in just a couple of minutes you you will not need to have you will not need to imagine i'm just gonna show you but first we need to go over the theory so you have a left table and you have a right table. You match some data from the left table to some data in the right table. That's simple. We know we have done this. Now, uh, what if you have some data, some records inside your left table that actually do, do not exist in the right table? Those specific records do not exist. I mean, the match doesn't exist in the right table. If we were to do an inner join, those data will be ignored. What is that data? That data is the data that didn't have a match. And which data is going to be ignored? What was the data that, that didn't have a match? It was the data in the left table. It didn't have a match in the right table. So the data in the left table which which didn't have a match is going to be ignored it's not going to be extracted but as far as outer joins are concerned they will be extracted but because they don't have any match in the right table for those specific records null will be returned from the right table okay so this is how the left outer join works the right outer join is the complete opposite so you have some data in the right you don't have any match for that records for those records in the left so instead of ignoring all the data that we had in the right table which didn't have a match we are going to return that data from the right table but because in the left table we don't have any match what we are going to do is we're just going to return null and that is called a right outer join now if you combine both of them that is a full outer join that's how simple it is now let's dive into an example now before actually we before we can dive into this example you need to like modify your database a little bit so we can actually implement this join so we are going to work with the departments table and the employees table as usual now in the departments table when you hover on it you're going to see this wrench icon the settings just click on it and you're going to be re redirected to this page you're going to see that you have primary key not null unique key and all of these tick marks just untick all of them and bring the primary key take it for the location id you can see so location id now if you untick everything this is what you're going to end up with and for the location id just take the primary key primary key by default is not null so when you tick it not null will also be selected and then go ahead and apply changes apply because i've already applied it it's not going to take effect let's let's close this and then 
open this department's table in the department id you of course you're going to get an error that is going to say that 1700 or another key is actually duplicate because in in primary keys we cannot have duplicate primary keys so before actually uh, i should have probably told you this at first i'm telling you now so before actually going to the settings just make sure you change all these uh, location ids so just click there just click there and type in 1000 for the next one it doesn't matter what you type in just click there type 1000 then uh, uh, bottom arrow 2000 bottom arrow 3000 all the way to 11,000 then close this table all the changes will be saved so if you bring any changes into the table so let's say if I if I set this to 20,000 and when I when I try to save it it is going to ask me do you want to save changes I say yes it is going to show me the SQL command to save the changes I'm going to say apply and finish this is how you're going to do it then you're going to go to the settings untick everything and then set the primary key to the location ID and then apply it and then close it you're going to see another pop-up window that is going to ask you that you do you really want to do this you're going to say yes yes and finish and that's going to be it so those are the only things that you need to do the other thing of course there is one more thing that you need to do is we are going to grab all these department ids from one to four grab all of them right click and set the field to null close this database close this table it's going to ask you for changes apply finish there we go now why did we need to do all of this was because initially the primary key is assigned to the department ID you cannot have multiple department IDs and you cannot have null as a department ID I needed to uh, I, I wanted to show you something so that's why we grabbed the primary ID we assigned it to location ID but because location ID had duplicates inside of it first we needed to remove the duplicates that's why we did 1000 2000 3000 all the way to 20,000 and then we save this and we save the other changes and now we can do our left outer join so first I'm going to show you how you can uh, how the inner join is actually going to really react to our changes so I'm going to say select uh, from I'm going to select two tables and I'm going to tell you which table is the right table which table is the left table uh, from employees uh, e alias it as e we're going to say inner join we are familiar with the syntax departments d on and um, i'm going to say e dot so from the uh, employees table we are going to grab the department id and we are going to basically join it with the department id from the departments table so d dot department underscore id let's close this now which columns do we want to select so we are going to say e dot first name then i'm going to select e dot last name let's select from the departments table the department id uh id as well you know what i'm first i'm going to select the name then i'm going to select d dot department id let's save this so this is an inner join if we run this we select these so you can see that whenever I arrange it ascendingly you can see we start from five where is one two three four because in the department ID in the employees table so for one two three four these are the one two three four department IDs right this is the left table so whichever table is written first on this side on the left side this is the left table and well this is sensible right this is the right table so in the left table which is the employees table we had some department ids one to four a lot of employees here like there is three uh four five six seven eight nine ten so we got ten employees with the department id one to four right and then we went to the left table sorry to the right table 
which is let me just click on this there we go which is this table which is the department's table this is the table and we wanted to grab which employee belongs to which department but because these department IDs are null we actually ignored all these employees right here why because their department ID is actually null in the right table so the inner join what it did, did was it even ignored the left table uh, first name and last name or employees because they didn't have any data in the right table so the left table that's the actual data is also ignored so not only this null is not returned this data all of this data is actually ignored so this is the um, this is how inner joins work sometimes you want to do this sometimes you don't so actually converting this to an uh, outer join is extremely easy so i'm just going to copy it down below i'm going to say um, 53 let's grab everything let's comment them out so what we're going to do here is now whenever i run this the left outer join now which one is the left table the employees is the left table which one is the right table the departments is the right table even though we don't have the department id match for these department ids one to four it is still going to return these null values and what is the most important thing it is going to return these employees so it is not going to ignore them just because their department id doesn't exist so sometimes that is something that you want to do sometimes it is not something that you want to do the only thing that you need to change here is just change it to left outer join save that and re run it now there we go so if i bring this up and if i click on it there we go so you can see dan alexander shelley Sigal, guy karen all these people even though they don't have any department id and they don't have any department name why don't they have department name because the department id doesn't exist even though they have department name why why is it null because we are actually joining both department ids we are not joining a department id with a department name that's why the name is also considered null because the id for that name doesn't exist so we say that the name doesn't exist so there we go so these were the rows uh, or the records that or the values that the inner join actually ignored just because from these are the values in the left table again and these are the values in the right table for the values in the left table it is left outer join so for the values in the left table we didn't have any values in the right table but we still returned them as far as the inner join is concerned it is is just going to ignore that so now that you know how left outer join works right outer join works in the same way so before starting the next lecture i'm going to show you in that lecture of course some settings that you need to do some tweaking around and then you will be able to implement right outer join as well right outer join is whenever you have data in the right table but you don't have data in the left table so the left table will be null instead of all these names and last names but still we are going to return that data that's it for this lecture see you in the next one